Hey, hey, good people. Welcome back. This is Arthur Morris. And in this video, we are going to look at solving a system of uh, linear equations in two variables by using the addition method or sometimes called the elimination method. Okay, so the idea here is to look at both equations and use multiplica multiplication to make one of your variables in the equations have opposite coefficients. So we will use uh, the least common multiples and we want to have make one of the variables have opposite coefficients like 5 and negative 5 or 3 and negative 3x or 2x and negative 2x or 7y and negative 7y. So looking at this problem here, we have 3x minus 2y equals 7 and 1x plus 3y equals 6. Okay. Now, if one of your variables has the coefficient of 1, that's usually the easier one to uh, make have an opposite coefficient from the other equation. So since my equation 2 has an understood 1x there, then I can look at equation 1, which has positive 3x, and say, well, the, the least common multiple for 1 and 3 is 3. But if I want them to be to be opposite, then I want my second equation to have a negative 3x. And how do we get that by using multiplication? Well, we multiply by negative 3. Now, since this is an equation, you would want to multiply, or you need to multiply both sides by negative 3 to keep the equation balanced. Okay, so let's rewrite what we have. My equation 1 is still 3x minus 2y equals 7. My equation 2, after I multiply by negative 3, is negative 3x minus 9y equals negative 18. Now, here in step 2, once we get one of those variables to have opposite coefficients through multiplication, then we want to add the two equations together by combining the like terms. So here we have 3x minus 3x is 0x. They eliminate negative 2y minus 9y and then 7 minus 18. All right, so we were left with one. We're left with one variable. We can solve for this variable by dividing both sides by negative 11 and y equals 1. But remember, we're trying to solve, find an ordered pair. We need to find the ordered pair that these two equations have in common as a solution. Uh, so we need to find x as well. Uh, you can go back and use either one of your original equations or the manipulated equation if you choose to by multiplication. I'm going to use the original equation 2 because the coefficient on that x variable was 1. So it should be fairly easy to solve for. So we had x plus 3y equals 6, and I'm going to replace the y with 1 because we know that y is equal to 1. So we find out by subtracting 3 from both sides that x is equal to 3. So my solution is 3, 1. The ordered pair 3, 1. Okay, let's take a look at another example. All right, here we have 2x minus 3y equals 5 and 3x plus 2y equals 1. Alright, so 
I'm going to eliminate my y variables. I don't have a variable that has a coefficient of 1, but I do see that my y variables already have opposite signs, so that's great. So now I just need the common, least common multiple of 2 and 3, looking at the y variables. So the least common multiple of 2 and 3, the first number they will go into is 6. So to make that negative 3y into negative 6y in equation 1, I need to multiply that equation by positive 2. My second equation, I want to make this 2y into 6y, so I need to multiply by 3. So my new equation 1, after multiplying by 2, is 4x minus 6y equals 10. Equation 2, after multiplying by 3, is 9x plus 6y equals 3. So again, after you get that combination to where one of your variables has uh, opposite coefficients, then you want to add the equations together and that will eliminate one of your variables. So now we have 4x plus 9x is 13x. Negative 6y plus 6y is 0, so that cancels out, equals 10 plus 3 is 13. Divide both sides by 13. x equals 1. Now remember, you need an ordered pair because we're trying to find the ordered pair solution the ordered pair that the two equations have in common as a solution. So now we need to find x. Looking at my original equations, it really doesn't matter which one I plug. Uh, I used to find x, so I'll just use equation 1. Okay. So we know the value of x. x is equal to 1, so now I'm going to replace x with 1. and then solve the equation. Subtract 2 from both sides and divide by negative 3. So my solution for this system is 1, negative 1. The ordered pair 1, negative 1. Alrighty good people. Hope you found this video to be helpful. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.